Yo, what's going on, guys? It is the Thickest Thieves Boys back at it. I am rapper Nate Rose. And I am filmmaker David Elijah Pearsall. And uh, today we're reacting to Suicide Boys, Not Even Ghosts Are This Empty. Now, have you ever heard of Suicide Boys? I have a couple songs on my little playlist when I run. Yeah. But other than that, I haven't dwelled too much to their videos. Fire. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My wife brought us some banana bread. <laughs> banana bread. Thanks, hey, Aliki. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look, we we sauced looks, up right now. I'm, I'm about to I'm about to snack for real, and I'm getting a call. So the only thing I know about Su well, actually, I know a few of the Suicide Boys records. That's your favorite rappers, right? They're not my favorite, but um, dude, That's crazy fact: the way they got their name, apparently they were you know they were a, a duo, um, and they made a suicide pact that if they didn't blow up by a certain date, that they were going to kill themselves, which is crazy. And then they blew up. I'm assuming that uh. I mean, hey, video. good for them. You know what I'm saying? Good. I'm glad they're here, dude. Let's jump right into it, bro. Let's get I'm, it. I'm excited. Let's Start see what. Thing. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's hard. Love the text. Hey, I love this little loop vocal thing. Beautiful shots. The boys in Texas. They're from Louisiana. That makes sense. I love that country rap style. Dude, the fit. Yeah. Feels crazy. Hey, this is subtle. This is subtle. It got a, like, a nice bounce to it, you know? So I love that they're just letting the, the beat ride, too. So you had this nice, pretty intro with all this B-roll. In the footage and it shows him getting up getting ready in the morning first off their place presumably this is their house but it is beautiful beautiful it looks i great. love the little i got they got their little their game on the wall yeah they got their books yeah, yeah. on the wall that's country we yep. live in nashville so we look we know a little bit that's right that. man and uh let me just say bro like these guys are not small like I'm, I'm saying like bro they play shows for like when they go on tour bro they can play they can bring like 15 000, 20 000 people Good out for them, to, bro. I love to, hear to that. a headlining show so um hey kudos great to them man and also the fit my boy stepped out in the with the the chain with the spinner that's different and the, the cowboy spinners, hat. bro they bringing it back that's crazy <laughs> that's right that's right hard Hey, beautiful colors too. Every day I'm hustling. I actually yeah. have that exact thing. My brother got me that. Are you serious? Yeah, he got got me that as a gift. It must be like, a, a, little like a white. <laughs> <laughs> must be like a white. No, nah, it was like a funny little gag gift. Oh, okay. it was like a. It was at like five below or something like that. There's but. no like. You know how like me and Ollie Joseph on the podcast, by the way, if you yo, want to watch yo, the podcast yo, on our yo, channel, we're tapped in. We had like a mix, yeah, like a light skin thing. I was wondering if that was like a. I don't like, know, bro. I don't know if it's in the. I mean the the cowboy hat, maybe. If I see you in a cowboy hat, bro, I'm sorry, but we're gonna have to part ways. For real? Nah, of course not. Oh, okay. He just screaming. I just wanna run away. The face hats and the suit, though. Yeah, it's giving like posty vibes a little bit. Ooh, I love this outro. Hold on. Oh, that's Composition crazy. is hard. Composition is hard. Yo, let's talk about a couple things. So, Suicide Boys, a lot of their music is super hard, just super hard and ignorant. You know what I'm saying? This With the, the energy. Yeah. I feel like this is this fills a different pocket. They're still doing their same kind of rap flows and stuff, like where is is very like chopping you know what i mean but but it they're talking about you know what i'm saying struggling with stuff and then right. they're they're getting into this pocket of uh you know it's kind of chill and like 
you know, atmospheric, like like we we had talked about before. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's super dope. Um, yo, dude, look, man, I know we're paused here. The composition, the composition is crazy, but look, bro, I think got you got the sauce, bro. <laughs> my my man here is a director, bro. He be directing and shooting videos for me that are crazy, man. I, I think we should show him a little something before we uh, finish this one out. What do you think? Let's do it, bro. All right. They say money corrupt everything. I wonder if it's true. So I had to get a bunch of it to see what it could. Hit record, started hustling way back when I wasn't. From my passion early on, but now my peers was privy. I had an ego type of ego, make you win by busting through. Until that ego had me breaking ties with ones I knew. I killed that ego and got money hand in hand. It's something new. That's that EQ that I learned while using EQ as a tool. I want to comment before we get started real quick. <laughs> yes. Super fast. I love the cinematography. It's very subtle. It has like a filmic vibe to it. Yep. Very naturally lit. It's very. It really matches the energy of the song. I think it does. I'm and ready to see what they got. You know, we always this. talk about how a music video does its job if it elevates the 100%, song. 100%. Yeah. And, and I, I definitely feel like that's happening with this record. So, And, uh, you know, this, this outro, I'm going to run it back just a second because I love the musicality the yeah. of this outro. So let's run that back. That's my favorite shot so far right there. Fire. Where are they at? Yeah, for real. That's straight up Catholic Church. The worst part about hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. And I think that... That's a fire shot. ...is the part of hell that a person... I love this, bro. Doofy, Dr. Doofenshmirtz, that was good. I love this, man. You know, the first video I ever saw by them was... It was a show video where Puya came out in a a song that they have. It was in Santa Ana. And it, to this day, is one of the coldest live show videos I've ever seen. Like there's a part where where Puya goes, what the fuck is up? And you don't see him yet, but they, but they know it's Puya. People go stupid. He comes out. He stands on the uh, on the speaker. He he turns his body, and he's like, sa sa suicide, kill yourself, ho. Oh. And then panned around, and like there's like flashing lights, and you can see the crowd, bro. Ah, it's like it's like, like four thousand people deep, and and they're all screaming the lyrics to the song, and it blew my mind because I was like, the energy in this room. One of one. It was insane. But was on top of, of that, moments. how have I not heard of them? And they have 4,000 people singing all the songs. Right. So I started looking more into them and they had another video at the time. Uh, it seemed like they're, I'm sure they've been making music for a really long time, but uh, it seemed like like they were starting to really build momentum and they only had a few things up. But one of them was they were performing at a skate park and that the top of a huge half pipe was where the stage was and the entire crowd was like, all through the bottom of the ramp and around the sides and they were going stupid. That's a hard show concept. That's tight. Yeah, and I feel like it it serves the the demographic too. You know what I'm saying? Cuz their their demographic is is different than a lot of rappers. You know, they're speaking to a new audience. That's how any it's artist It's like rough. It's yeah, like a rough demographic of 100%. people. 100%. And and who relate to them cuz they're they have that rough brand, you know what I mean? That's right. Dude, so for a superstar to be able to become a superstar or like have a, a, a cult fan base like yeah. that. You have to speak to an audience that hasn't been spoken to before. Or that is like very underserved. You know what I'm saying? And like that's that's how you even get somebody like Taylor Swift. It's or, like I mean, or, or obviously the most obvious, Eminem. You get yeah. Eminem, you get you I mean Tyler, the creator, you know what I'm saying? You have a totally different pocket and a demographic, yep. you know what I'm saying? Um and, and these guys do that and man. I love the fact that we're now getting to see what it looks like when they're able to execute their art at the highest level. So shout out Suicide Boys, man. Um, more power to you. You know, maybe there's uh, some potential for, a, you know, a Suicide Boys and Nate Rose collaboration at some point in the future. You know what I'm saying? If it's in the cards, we'll find out. Uh, but yo, dude, what you think, man? It was good, man. I liked it. Uh, it's not my flavor, really. Not your to flavor. Be honest with you, if I'm being completely honest, I like this. I mean, I like it has some sonic moments that I could I could get behind. It had some the visuals look incredible, but it's not something I'm gonna really be bumping all the time. Okay, I, more respect to them because I think your story that you mentioned to me about the or their story that you mentioned to me about them committing suicide like that's super hard. 
like you said, it's just not my demographic. Yeah. It's not my demographic. I feel that. I feel that. Well, dude, nonetheless, man, thank you for reacting with me. As always. <laughs> and uh, yeah, check out the pod. Check out some of our other videos if you like. would like. And uh, yeah, we out. We need top five when I'm done going mental. Yeah, I'm locked in. You can peep my condition in the lab all winter. All summer. Yeah, I went dumb. Now I'm about to go dumb and throwing way more numbers on the board on my.